Nobody really likes this kind of noise coming from their car. However, vibration in some areas of the brake system and its connection with the chassis occur sometimes. Here the skills of the workshop technicians help to get this fixed and avoid to let this happen again. Interesting side fact, 50% of all noise occurrences are caused by the chassis. Brake noise and vibration belong to the main reasons why customers take their cars to the workshop. It's an interaction of all components. Furthermore, noise behavior can change throughout the product lifetime due to wear, dirt and corrosion. And complex testing is needed to understand the effects. Brake judder or squealing are usually caused by irregularities on the brake disc surface or by a side run out of the disc. However, excessive slackness in the wheel bearing, in the wheel suspension and even in the steering transmission components can be a factor too. Your expertise and skills in professional repairs and the use of high quality spare parts reduce these issues. Just recently I took my car the second time to the workshop because of these issues, brake noise and vibrations. Our experts always say that all kinds of brake discs are very sensitive, high quality products. You can make a major contribution to avoid noise and vibration and satisfy your customers by considering special requirements in the installation and handling of these components. So what is your advice to the workshop technician? First, the technician needs to ensure that the hub seat is absolutely clean, rust free and even. It should not be damaged in any way. Another point to be aware of is that neither hammers nor impact wrenches are acceptable tools to be used when performing brake repairs. The beating movements of these tools can warp and deform the disc. What should the workshop consider after removing the wheels? That's actually a very important point. When the wheels have been removed, steering motions should only be performed by rotating the steering wheel. Modern brake discs are extremely sensitive. When grabbing the friction ring with both hands to force the steering motion via the axle, the disc can easily be damaged. The problem here is the time it takes to actually show the symptoms, jodder or vibration, which can take up to months or even years depending on the driving behavior of the vehicle owner. How would you suggest to do it right then? A torque wrench is the right tool to tighten the screws of the disc, not an air gun. The beating movements would harm the disc. Then the wheel screws need to be tightened evenly in three stages to the torque specified for the vehicle. Otherwise, the brake disc would warp and cause judder. It is very important to always follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. And what about the modern compound brake disc? When transporting a compound brake disc, always use both hands and grip the disc by the friction ring. Please do not lift or carry it by the disc hub. So noise and vibration can be influenced by various issues. You can make an important contribution by following the recommendation shown in this tech nugget. Don't forget to hit the like button and for more information go to our website, you'll find the link down below.